and that was Phoenix number 2772. That was the track They Won't Find the Body Buddy from the 2015 album You Are Already Dead. For this week, listener, I decided to do a, I guess you could say, a Bandcamp mixtape. All these songs we'll be playing are going to be on records, not available on regular streaming, but only available through Bandcamp. We support small independent musicians out here as daily, so why not? We decided to throw a little something different. We're going to throw in a little vaporwave, uh, indie music, future funk even. You know, let the ears figure that out. Good afternoon, listeners of Coffee Noise. I'm your host, DJ Marlin. And if you can't believe it, it's Tuesday once again. Howdy do, listeners. Today, it is November 14th, 2023. Let's get a look at the weather currently right now. Currently, right now in the city of Edinburgh, we're looking at 73 degrees with a high of 74 and a low of 60 degrees. Today is a very nice, it's very lovely weather today. I decided to wear my cardigan, which I love wearing it. It's, um, I guess you could say, how would people say it? A staple piece? I think that's the word. Correct me if I'm wrong, 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 wrong. I think that's what it is. A staple piece. Interesting. I had to look more into what exactly is the full name. I know people say, oh, is it? It's a full name or something like that. I don't know. They, they come up with so many names recently. I just don't even know. Anyway, before we get into the next music for today, let's talk about the albums coming out this week on Friday, be the 17th of November. Uh, today we had an announcement of Andre 3000's debut record, New Blue Sun, release on Epic Records. Apparently it says it's not going to be a hip-hop album. It's going to be, uh, I forgot, it's like flute instrumentals. I don't know what that means fully. I am definitely interested, obviously, because I would consider myself a pretty big Andre 3000 lover, so definitely going to look into that. Looks up, we have the new album from Ali Sethi and Nicholas Yor in Tiha, released on Other People Records. We have the complete Bukhukan 1978 uh, bootleg record coming out by Bob Dylan. Let's see. And the album I'm definitely looking forward to is the new Danny Brown record, Quantra, uh, released on Warp Records. I've been definitely trying to get more into the Warp's Deep Cuts discography. Warp Records, especially they do in the, uh, what was it called? The Artificial Intelligence reissues. And if you haven't heard those compilation albums, they're from the 90s. Uh, I think if you consider yourself a lover of electronic music, you most definitely have to hear that kind of music. I think it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's very, uh, how would I say? I think you would say a warm feeling record. I think that'll be a good word. Let's go with that. Uh, let's see. We're going to have the new uh, Sunbather 10th Anniversary Remix and Remaster by Dev Heaven, released on Death Wish Incorporated Records. And let's see. Any other albums coming out this week that I'm looking forward to? Uh, not really much, actually. Not much, really. Uh, yeah, actually not. I think the main albums I'm definitely looking forward to is the new Nicholas Yar compilation, uh, collaboration album, the Andre 3000 record. And definitely the Danny Brown record because, yeah, I just really like Warp Records. I was listening to an album I was listening to earlier. I forgot it was on Warp Records. I forgot I was listening to Danny Brown yesterday. I was listening to his um his last album, not the last one, but the one before that, Atrocity Exhibition. Amazing record. I think it's if someone wanted to say that is Danny Brown's best record in his entire discography. I would not be against that idea. I think that is a valid al- valid point to take. The album is amazing. It's dork. It's hypnotic even. I, I've even heard some people say it reminds them of a um, David Lynch film. I never heard that before. But then when someone said that, I decided to, okay, let me uh, re-listen to the album one more time. I'm not there quite yet, but I can definitely see where they're going to. And also another album I've been listening to recently is the new Home Is Where album, The Wailer. Uh, if you want to get into Fifth Wave Emo, definitely peep that album out. It's beautiful, it's loud, it's noisy, it's harsh. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's an amazing record. I think that will definitely be a contender 
for best album of the year. Most definitely best album to come out of June of this year, but I can easily see it coming out in the top albums of this year. Anyways, let's get into the music right back. Let's get into some future funk. This is Android Apartment. And that's where meant by the solo project of Black Country New Road saxophonist Lewis Evans, Good With Parents. I believe that was released in 2017. Don't quote me on that if I'm correct. Anyways, let's talk about some things that's been on my mind recently. Mainly just, uh, I guess a little bit of a, how would I say, a mind dump? You know, just tossing random ideas on my little head onto the radio station for all the little people out there to listen to. I've been using movie a lot recently. You know, they do like the cinephile movies there. And apparently the rap got the 2023 finalists for the App Store Awards on the uh, on iPhone, on the Apple App Store. I don't know what's the full name, the correct name for Apple terminology. I've been, I've, I mean, I have an iPhone, but I'm like, I'm not like, oh, it has to be called this specific name. I don't know. It's, it's an app. I, I, how, why is that to be so specific? An app is an app. As long as it gets the job done, I don't see the whole use of... Oh, you need a full name. No, I'm not even going to get into detail because I know I can be on it for a very long time, actually. And that is something I pride myself on doing. I don't know if I should pride myself on that. No, no, it's a look into that. Also, for the music nerds out there, released 48 years ago was Brian Eno's album, Another Green World. Uh, if you want to get into Eno's solo work, I mean, yeah, you can listen to Roxy Music and the collaborate albums he has with his, his uh, brother, Roger Eno. But, I mean, geez, Another Green World. I remember hearing that song. I remember hearing that album, I think I was maybe like 15, 16 years old. And there's that track. I forgot what it's called. It's like, um, running. I remember the lyrics is running to tie your shoes. And I'll be running to tie your shoes. I don't know why, but 17 year old me was so hypnotized by that track. I was like, I, I didn't know what it was. I mean, I didn't, I really didn't have like such a, what's the word? I know, I've heard someone say when you're into a lot of music, you have a charcuterie board. I didn't even know what a charcuterie board was until last week, until I Googled it. I was like, oh, so that's what they're called. Oh, so I was just cheese board or something uh, simple. Charcuterie board. I'm thinking the person who made up that word really just wanted to annoy people. Because what person looks at a board with cheese and little fruits and decides, ah, yes, we're going to call it a charcuterie board. It's a cheese board. Cheese. Where do you get, where do you get charcuterie from cheese? And I know people who study linguistics may be out there like, oh, actually, it's a full-on city. I don't know much about linguistics. I know my professor, he goes on the whole linguistics, but that's for metaphysics. A completely different field. We're not, in metaphysics, we're not discussing on cheese board, or what's commonly called as a charcuterie board. I don't know why. That word is pissing me off. Charcuterie board. Dumb little name. But I kind of do like it. Actually, no I don't. Anyways, let's talk about the next two tracks we're going to get into before the, uh, and the first half of the show, we're going to first off play with some uh, MMPH with the track Broken Hearts. It's a, I guess you could say a breakdance song. And they're going to finish off with Cats of Some Corp with the, with the Vaporwave track Morning Commute. It is not the morning. It is currently 2.51 in the afternoon. But you know what? Let's pretend it's the morning. Anyways, you're listening to Coffee Noise with your host, DJ Marlin. All right, listeners, and we are back currently. It is, let me look at the time, it is 3.01 in the afternoon. Good day, good day. Let's see, just before the uh, commercial break, we played the track. Let me see right here. Morning Commute by the Vaporwave artist Cat System Corp. I believe that was released, uh, I forgot when it was released. It's still a, uh, I guess you could say, relatively new album. I want to say... I don't know. I have the album on vinyl, one of my personal favorite grails. 
I just love the packaging. It's almost that nostalgic Y2K. Uh, I know the people who are chronically online out there, including me very much so, they know exactly what I'm talking about, that whole vaporwave aesthetic. Some people like it. Some people think it's the most overrated thing they've ever looked at. If you're into that group, if you're in that group, actually, um, yeah, I actually wouldn't be um, against you calling that. I personally think it's one of the best. I, I think it's up there as one of the best Vaporwave albums, especially as a concept album. Definitely into it. Although you have to know the whole lore behind it, then it's good to watch maybe a few videos explaining, okay, what's the uh, the meaning of it fully. <laughs> But yeah, you know, that's about it. Anyways, and uh, music news. Let's see. Dinosaur Jr.'s Jay Mascus announces a new solo album, What Do We Do Now? That's going to be released on Sub Pop Records. I'm definitely looking forward to I'm a very big fan of Dinosaur Jr., that whole indie rock the 80s and 90s. Almost reminds me of the uh, David Berman. Uh, he was the lead singer of Silver Jews, and he had his own project, uh, Purple Mountains. Love that album. I think it's one of the best albums, I believe, 2018, 2019. I'm horrible with my dates on the albums today. I'm sorry out there, listeners. Let's get into the music right now. Here is Black Country New Road with their Manchester Live set. That was uh, Black Country New Road. Let me see if I got this right. And that was Black Country New Road. That was, re- that was recorded in Manchester on January 23rd, uh, 2020. That was, recorded, that was recorded at the Yes Basement. Uh, Black Country New Road, it's one of those interesting bands that's, I feel it doesn't get enough credit, not really enough credit, not that, but I would say most people when they think of the whole post-punk revival scene, I feel like some people would say that's one of the first bands they would know to, but also one of the last they would uh, say, oh yeah, uh, they did that. When I say Black Country New Road is extremely overrated. Yes and no. I mean, yes in the sense that a lot of music nerds, including me, we kind of like praise it a bit too much for some people. And that I can somewhat agree. But when people say, oh, it's overrated, I'm just going to disregard it. Well, I don't really like that because then it's like, say what you want about the band to release not only maybe like two albums worth of music and a few EPs and to be regarded as one of the best bands you UK, I mean, their album from 2022, Ants From Up There, is definitely one of the best rock albums, I would say, of the 2020s, without a doubt. And I know that may be a bit too much for some people. Would I say it's a lot? Uh, no, I would not, actually, because it's up there. It is definitely up there. I mean, yes, I'm not to say there are other... Not to say that there were other albums that don't even come close. No, there are albums that definitely hold up to this day. Do I see the same happening with Ants From Up There? In some sense, yes. But I feel it will be more enjoyed more enjoyed by the audiophile community than the... Uh, I want to say the general public, since we all have some taste in audiophiles. But... Most definitely people who spend more money on headphones, uh, amplification, and gear, and such like that. Because I believe even the live recordings, it's very... When I say it's difficult to do live recordings, in some sense, yes. Because you have a lot of mixing you have to do. And some people record on a very simple handheld recorder. And obviously there's only a finite amount of mixing you can do. Black Country New Road, they did pretty well with their live album. Uh, what was it called? Live at Bush Hall, but there was mixing involved. But especially even the bootlegs, the Black Country New Road bootlegs people have been putting up on YouTube, they are just beautiful. I would definitely say they are... <laughs> yeah, just that. I would just say they're beautiful. Anyways, let's talk about the last two tracks we're going to play for today. We're going to play it off with some... I believe it is Armenian flute music. You're going to be hearing from Sergei. And we're going to finish it off with some classic Bad Bad Not Good. Just a little Canadian jazz. I feel like that would be a good way to end the show. So let's get into it. Alright listeners, that's going to wrap up today's show. Today we played a total of... I cannot count. I believe that is... 
five, no, seven or eight tracks. I am horrible at counting. Like I said, the tracks played today were not available on streaming sources. They're only available on Bandcamp. So, like I always say, weekly. Support your local favorite artists. Uh, purchase their music, either digitally or physically. Streaming music, it's not the best. Let's be honest. It's kind of a rip-off for the artists. It's also a rip-off for the listeners. Streaming apps, as much as I use them, I do have a very strong love-hate relationship with them. And I can go on a whole tangent about that, but I am not going to do that because, one, I'm not in the mood because I have to do quirk for my other classes, and two, I am running out of time. Anyways, that finished up today's show. I'll tie that. Bandcamp special. Uh, I'm your host, DJ Marlin. You can follow me on Instagram at RegoHatesArt. And anyways, I'll see you in the future. You're listening to Vakela Radio, the Valley's only student station. Goodbye, listeners. Laters.